This is KSL, your news specialist. Good evening, I'm Leanne. And I'm Karina. Welcome to this very special KSL blogcast. We've all have heard of the term mummy blog. Well, it turns out those blogs may be doing more for moms than just giving them a place to post cute photos. A new study from Penn State University shows new mothers who read or write blogs handle the stress of parenting better than those who do not. Researchers say the reason is that these moms feel less isolated and more connected to family and friends than their non-blogging counterparts. The survey also found a growing number of moms have blogs, with 61% of those surveyed saying they are bloggers. Summer vacations are great for unwinding unless you're traveling for two. They, there are a few things that you need to know if you're going on vacation while pregnant this summer. Janine Tornator is a senior editor for Orbits.com. She says that before you book anything, you make, make sure that you can actually get there. Airlines allow women to travel up to 36 weeks, uh, but it's important to check on your airline's website to see if they do have any specific restrictions. Cruises can be much more strict. Some cruise lines only allow pregnant women on board up until week 24 to 26 of pregnancy. As far as airport security body scanners go, and a TSA website says they're safe for pregnant women, but if you're uncomfortable with them, you don't have to use them and can opt for a pat down instead. Apples are supposed to be so healthy that one day keeps the, the one a day keeps the doctor away. Just make sure you wash it well. The apples tops the list of the dirtiest produce you can buy. That's according to the Environmental Working Group, which ranks fruit and vegetable pesticide residue. The testing was done after the produce was washed or peeled. In fact, the agency also found that some baby foods contain pesticide. The cleanest produce, onions, and sweet corn. That does it for us. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Karina. And I'm Leanne. Have a great day.